What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? We have an amazing week of tech for my channel. Like I do a news reviews walkthrough video every single day and then I also do the news video and the tech news reviews and walkthrough like that side of it is amazing. We got Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. We also have another Samsung <clears throat> device. I'm getting all emotional. My God. Another Samsung device um, that's just been released. I should have that later this week. I'll do some videos on that. And then comparisons with the S21 Fan Edition versus the Pixel 6 Pro. And we've got pre-order talk of the Galaxy S22 and the gifts that you'll get and the trade-in values and all that stuff. So an amazing week. So make sure that you're subscribed. With that said, let's get into our few news stories and also all the questions you guys gave it. First tech news story of the day is a little comparison of Aztec Ruins, a little benchmarking going on of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 versus the Snapdragon 888 versus the Exynos 2200. And it does not look so good for the Exynos 2200 in terms of graphics performance. And as you can see from Ice Universe's tweet here, he breaks it down showing that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has a score of 143 frames per second. And then the Snapdragon 888 gets 116 and the Exynos 2200 gets 109. It still can't even beat last year's processor from Qualcomm. It's pretty telling. Not to say that the Exynos 2200, if you end up getting it, because there's rumors that it's still going to come out in some parts of the world, uh, the Exynos 2200 on that S22 series of phone. But when you when it comes down to a day-to-day -day operation, it'll probably, probably be absolutely fine. And most gaming that you do, again, will be absolutely fine. But if you want the upper echelon of the best of the best, it doesn't seem like it's going to be there, especially against the 8 Gen 1. The 8 Gen 1's beating it by like 30, 40 frames per second. It's pretty impressive. Next up is about the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Some of this stuff we know, some of the stuff you might not know at all if you've been following me. Again, you might might be kind of like a rehash of things, but again, it's been written out in a new format by Ishan Agarwal because he just put out a new post on the My Smart page, which I'll list both of those down below if you want to read them. So let's check out these little finer details of the S22 Ultra. And when we dive into his tweet more on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, he said he confirmed that it has the new Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, which will give it very, very good reliability if you drop it or, you know, just against cracks and scratches, which does it make it invincible? No, but it's just a little bit more durable. Armor aluminum frame. So all along the frame of the phone, you're going to have armor aluminum, which will make it hopefully feel a little bit more premium, but also a little bit more rugged again. The S Pen is going to have a 2.8 millisecond S Pen latency, which is the lowest or the fastest or the best, whatever you want to call it, of all time for an S Pen, I believe. Uh, definitely on the Samsung side. I don't know about their competition outside of Samsung devices, but very, very almost like real life uh, latency with the S Pen when you write, you'll feel like you're, draw, you're raw, drawing or writing on paper, basically. Auto frame rate video recording. Now he does go a little bit more in depth into that, what he meant by that. He said he mistakenly mentioned video recording in front of it. Auto frame rate is camera tech, which will adjust each frame based on the amount of light for better shots. It's nothing groundbreaking. Many phones have it with different or no marketing name. And then also the battery will be 5,000 milliamps. You'll get 45 watt charging wired and 15 watt wireless charging. I'd like to see them bring the 15 watt wireless charging up. Uh, that's pretty slow still. 6.8 inch, 120 Hertz refresh rate with a 3088 by 1440p display. And it's going to run one UI 4.1 and it's going to come you know, very, very soon. You're looking at the launch of that being February 8th for the Galaxy S22 series of phones as well as the Galaxy Tab S8 tablets. So we got some exciting stuff coming up over the next few weeks and I'll be covering all of it. So make sure you're still with the channel. With that said, the question of the day is, out of the things that are listed right there, what do you think it's the most interesting um, piece of information that we talked about today in terms of that list of details that Ishan Agar will let out? I think for me, I gotta look right back at it. When well, the thing that, I don't, you know, because I've asked you your most favorite feature, but out of this little small list of features, I think the thing that excites me the most is, I am, I'm even though I'm an S Pen person, I'm curious to try that out and see how that, that works, because everything else is kind of, feeling like we've had some of those same features from past Samsung phones. 
With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that First question comes from Mr. D's product review saying, uh, Galaxy Buds for a future release of Galaxy Buds, what two new features, two new, two better features and two gimmick features do you think could come to a future release of Galaxy Buds? That's a lot of stuff, a lot of speculation there. Um, I guess some of the stuff I'd like to see is better battery life overall, like much better battery life. Give me a bigger case, I don't mind that. So that way I don't have to charge my buds nearly as much. Also, if you can put a bigger battery in the buds themselves to get them longer battery life. Beyond that, just improvements with, I want the sound to obviously be better. I want the uh, active noise cancellation to be better. I want the uh, transparency mode where you can hear what's going on around you to be better. But beyond that, I'm pretty happy with them. I can't think of anything that's a really jumping off the page that I'm like, that's awful about those. Everything else is just slightly better, you know? New York's finest, will everyone that signs up at the Samsung site get an email from Samsung for early pre-order for the S22 Ultra? Well, I will definitely be talking about it, so you can obviously follow my channel, and I know, and I know you already do that, but yeah, they should be doing the pre pre-order, and I've got a video talking about that that I'm uh, gonna release. I, I, I wanna release it tomorrow, but I have something a little bit more timely that needs to go out, so that'll probably come out Wednesday, uh, the, some pre-order talk. So Wednesday, Thursday, I or actually Thursday, Friday, I should say, I should have some videos on that stuff. Jared Kunin, who's also a Patreon supporter, thank you so much, Jeremy. Do you have room on the couch for me to crash on? Last night I did some drunk shopping on Swappa and ordered the new Fold 3. Wish me luck when it gets delivered. That's awesome. I hope you absolutely love it. I, lo I really like mine. I mean, there's things that I want to be improved, like the camera and the battery life, which are two pretty big things but they work and I can charge it. And beyond that, it's a great, it's a fantastic phone. I love the foldable phones and I, I'm be very curious to see what you think about it. So um, you know, reach out to me or do something so I know how you like it. Dan says, I just got the One UI 4 update on my Note 20 Ultra. I had previously used a hack or a workaround for power saving mode and 120 refresh rate. Now it doesn't work the tricks I used to do. Do you know of any new ways to bypass this? One more question, I have the old 45 watt charger, will this work for the S22 Ultra or do I have to buy the new one to take advantage of the faster charging speeds? In terms of the little hack you're talking about, I think you're talking about like medium power savings with 120 hertz refresh rate. I have a video on that, the video is a little old, so I'm assuming you already had it hooked up and stuff. I haven't heard of it not working and I don't know of another workaround if that doesn't work. Um, hopefully that answers your question. And then the other part of it, is, which I would just, if you have it set up, I'd delete it and recreate it. I, again, I have a video on my channel if you can find it. I have so many videos. And then the other part of your question is, will the old 45 watt charger work with the S22 Ultra? Yes, that will work. Now, will it charge it to its maximum 45 watt uh, speed? I believe it will. Do I know for sure? I don't, but I would, put money down that it will probably work just as well uh, as the new one. But we'll, I guess that remains to be seen. Shajil Shazad finishes up our question saying, do you think it's worth upgrading from the Tab S7 Plus to the S8 Ultra? Also, by the way, did you experience screen flickering issue? I guess it's due to not having adequate refresh rate. I think it's weird because the regular Tab S7 has adaptive refresh rate, but the Plus doesn't. I haven't had any flickering issues. I don't have the tablet anymore and I didn't remember having any flickering issues. And then to answer your, the other question, I, I don't know if it's, it's tough to say, yeah, I would upgrade. I mean, the screen's a lot bigger on the new, on the S8 Ultra versus the S7 Plus, but I'd probably say hold off. I think most people are probably fine with the Tab S7 Plus if they already have it. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question as your first word, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.